Alright guys, alright, 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 how's it going? It's me, the Honey Badger, once again with Mass Effect. Trying to break my week-long hiatus from making videos. It's been a while. Now, I will go ahead and warn you right off the bat that this next episode is a montage of talking, plain and simple. Mass Effect is as much about talking as it is about shooting. There's no way to get around it, and I love it, but you might not necessarily, so... If you're not into the conversation, uh, you might want to skip this video, because that's what it is. There'll be some action coming up in not too I've long, been though. Over the dossiers. So, I strongly recommend without further ado, let's Solis. listen to some conversations in Mass Effect. I'll provide a comments on them as I see fit. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Yes, we without will. That countermeasure, we'll be helpless see, I told you I'm in the comments. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to Who start. Who the hell is that? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Oh. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Hello there, Edie. Fun fact. Aren't happy when someone Most of Mass Effect 1 is dealing with rogue AI. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. She hacks other ships. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe for now she can. And advice. Don't worry though, Edie's on our side, she stays on our side. There's a really cool scene with her I'm later though, later on though. The three of us plus Joker Especially Mass Effect 3. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. right -o. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. I will do that. Hey, Miranda, you need to salute me, too. Jacob saluted me. This is Kelly Chambers. Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Aw, oh, thank you, Kelly. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? <laughs> she seems so uncomfortable. Is there uh, anything else? I always else? have time for you, Commander. Oh. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Shepard was that an insult? I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. Ding, 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 I'm good at sensing when people are overly pressure. taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. She's sort of a shrink. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else Computer would you like to know? Computer hacking skills. Nunchuck skills. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look At least you're confident interests. about it. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. I've always thought Kelly was kind of cute to dominate in her own kind of way. Put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I don't know if that analogy so quite Asari, fits. Orion, Torian, Solarian, Hanar. Oh my. Conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about I hope being you're a people person if you're a psychologist. I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. This plan Z can't possibly fail! Don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close wow, that's my a eyes, pretty strong statement. you'd be there. I'd embrace you. Now nah, we're gonna... <laughs> I'd drop you. <laughs> Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No! You better go. Okay. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! 
and leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction you is not your priority straight, perfect, Joker. Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> You know, what I'm going to say is a difficult decision in Mass Effect. I'm not it's not the it. same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Yeah, even I was dead. They did suck. Us. They sucked for all me. Much just to screw us and for you. And for everybody. Better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you were such <laughs> a down. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, the reason I'm showing you guys this scene is because it's kind of important for the rest of the game. Linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. And I just think it's interesting. Why aren't these used it's everywhere? Because based on real theory. Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state. No matter it's the an actual scientific you, theory, like I said, although I can't claim that, that I understand the it all the, the way. Man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. And by all the way, I mean not really at all. That's all for now. Logging you out, Chef. Commander. Token Black Guy. I have been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. You're as such a downer. Man Joker's right, talk, Shepard. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Well, that's probably wise. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I guess that's one way to look at it. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I like how Jacob is so respectful Commander right off the bat. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. It's good to be alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome I'm back, I'm still Shepard. as charming as ever. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I'm pretty sure I'm that Dr. Chuck Wallace is based by, ba voiced excuse me, by a somewhat position, famous voice actress, but I can't remember her name now off the top of my head. You're not the Cerberus I know, I'm a horrible doctor. person. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy Hey, together. Mass Effect 1 references. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. It's Omega, just so you And know. we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. 
Job. I'm a Commander Shepard. Now this guy's the funny. hero of the Citadel. You I like did this guy. humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. Oh, well, that's comforting. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Oh, I love maturity. That made me laugh very hard the first time I heard it. Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers <laughs> they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity Butt to crush these collectors. I am going to use that Only at some point in the knows future. That. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man working the Ezo rigs along Rupert the frontier? Rupert is a family guy. I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. Ouch! I to make right a in the downer. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Do you have everything you need? I yeah, make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent... I really like how you can see the shadow of his hands on his good, uniform. Because no there's lights in the counter. Order. I think that's a Taking really good uh, is going to be rough detail. Business. A really nice the touch. The deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. I said anything. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander, what can I do for you? What can't you do? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Solarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. The Asari commandos are really Cerberus badass. is humanity's answer to those organizations. Are you military if you ever played as one in Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, both. you know what I'm talking Cerberus about. Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Oh, gee, thanks, Miranda. That's just great. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Yeah, Martin Sheen. Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at and just about what? anything I And guess what? You find out a lot more do. about her extensive genetic modification later on. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? She That's makes it sound hard. really good here, Physically, but there's a dark side to it. I heal quickly, you gotta talk to her some more first. As long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. 
Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. You're certainly confident. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. I almost got the quote right. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you... You came all the way down here to see And us. the Scottish Engineer. Obligatory Star Trek awesome. reference. And I love it. I'm touring the ship. Getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella <laughs> Daniels, this is Gabby. actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? What can we do for you, Commander? Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She Perugia. flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council Clute. backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. Delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the... Hey, now that sounds familiar. Only Cerberus seem to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. You know what I just noticed? For those of you that have played Dragon so Age, join, Kenneth looks a lot Kenneth like Alice and I there. Been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. Daddy bags. That's enough for me. I love that. Okay down here? It's almost we as funny as butt puckers. I just wish it didn't take so your long. Your bag butt puckers. Kenneth, you're complaining. <laughs> what kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on.